So we are back home and we're ready to take Missy. Missy's in here. She's just dark. You can't see her. But we're ready to take Missy. I am so relieved that we're finally taking her to the doctor. I hope everything turns out all right and I'll keep you guys posted. So I'm genuinely, I'm, I'm sad. I'm sad. I don't like seeing her in the cage, but I know that this is for her own, own good. So I'm excited to take her there. Love you, Missy. Hello, beautiful beings. How are you today? And this video is going to be a little bit different because we are not in my usual setup because whew, this is going to be a tough topic. I'm going to give a fair warning, a trigger warning for those who have trouble hearing about loss and whether it's people or pets. I am going to be talking about that today. So, as you guys know, Missy, the black and white cat, if you have seen my vlog recently, you guys know that she has been sick and I had been hand feeding her. She was sick for about two weeks before I brought her into the vet. The vlog that you saw a few days after that, I had brought her in to the vet to get her checked up. Now, it was something totally, totally unexpected and something I didn't know was going to happen. Everything felt so fast to me. Um, but that night, Missy had passed away, March 26, 2022. They had decided to give her a scan to see what was going on with her. I thought she was sick because she was just showing symptoms of sneezing and you know, just diarrhea and normal cat things when they're sick. But unfortunately, she had gotten so much worse and that's why I brought her into the doctor to get her tested. So when they gave her the next ray, they found out that she had a cancerous tumor really close to her intestines and a failed liver. Her liver was completely gone. They gave me one or two options. The first option was to go through with a surgery to re remove the tumor, but they told me and they were real with me that the percentage was really, really low that she was going to survive because it was so close to her intestines. Or I can just have her pass away. I thought about this and they told me that even if she had survived the, the surgery, she would be in pain and not really her happy cat self for the rest of her life. And thinking about this and thinking about what she would want, I decided to go through with having her pass away. It was something really, really hard for me to decide on. And afterwards, I felt extremely guilty because I felt like I could have done better. But I realized that these are just the stages of feeling grief. And I did the best that I could and I gave her such a loving family to grow up with. And, you know, a lot of my friends really, really loved her deeply. So it hit all of us hard. All of us. That night happened so, so fast. And I couldn't process what was happening, you know. And I just wish. I wish I had more time with her. I wish I knew. But enough of the past. Let's talk about Missy, just a little bit. Missy was a loving cat who loved belly rubs. She loved belly rubs so, 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 so much. And you know, it's rare for a cat to love belly rubs, but she definitely loved belly rubs. She would never bite or scratch somebody. She was such a polite cat. She came from an abusive home at a very young age and landed here in a loving home and received so much, so much loved from us. She had a cute, deformed tail and she was absolutely the best cat anybody could ask for. She was there for me when nobody else was there for me. She gave me unconditional love and she was always with me. She always surrounded me every time I was on bed. She was on bed with me. She was honestly the best cat that I could ask for. So when Missy passed, it was hard. It was really, really hard. She was with me since I was 10. 
I'm currently 23 years old. She's been with me for 13 years. And it would have been 14 on September 22. Because that was the month that I had gotten her 10 years ago. But I know that she is in a better place. She is not hurting anymore. And I know that she is always with me. Maybe not physically, but spiritually, she's always here with me. And I will never, never, never forget her. Right here, I have a little altar that I made for her. And it's going to be up for as long as I want it to be up. So you guys are going to be seeing that behind, you know, behind me when I film. And now you guys would know what it is. So right here is Missy's urn. It's a beautiful, beautiful wooden box. And you know, I was able to put a photo in front, so I'm glad for that. And then underneath, I have an album full of photos physically of her. Whenever I feel sad and whenever I miss her, I'll look through the photo book. I have another picture of her, one of my favorite pictures of her right here. And on top is her collar. Then I have beautiful flowers in the background that my friends Tati and Victoria has sent me and I replaced some of the roses with new roses because they weren't dying out. It's been about two weeks that Missy has passed and I waited for a while to tell you guys this story because it's tough. It was tough and the first day was really, really tough, you know? So yes, I'm grateful that I'm able to have this here and I'm able to celebrate the life that she had with me. So basically, that's all I wanted to update you guys with since you saw Missy in my vlog. And I think it's very important before I even show the Star Wars vlog to explain what happened to Missy and why she's no longer with her with us. I wish that you guys hadn't seen her at her worst while she was sick. I wish you saw more of her when she wasn't sick. Um, so you can see her true personality and why how much why I love her so much, you know? And I also want to share with you guys um, her paw print that I was able to take a f about a month ago, a month or two ago before she passed. So yes, um, if you're dealing with any type of loss, um, I understand. I completely understand. And you know, we're all going through this together and you're not the only one. And and you know, as the days go by, it will get better. So I just want to say I love you, Missy. And you're never forgotten. <laughs> and I guess that's all I have to update you guys with. I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you for supporting me and sending me your condolences. You guys are amazing. I am sending you a lot of light and love as usual. I hope you have an amazing week, amazing day, amazing month, and I will see you later. She likes belly rubs. So he had to pretty much like twist this top part. He had to hold the bottom part and then he had to force it all the way out and then he had to drag this little piece here. Yeah. <gasps> what? She's only doing it because it's on camera. You want someone to pet you?
Look at her little tail.